Well, welcome to Doug Does Stuff. I'm Doug, and today I'm throwing in the towel on this Ender 3 V2 Neo. I have, I am overly frustrated. I can't get it right. I change this, I change that, and it just is not working. The latest thing I was doing was I printed, I thought I was getting somewhere, and I started to print a pressure advance, and that's the sides all the way around. I just stopped it. Changed some things. Went back and was doing it again. This is after a box of towers. And these are not even the ones I threw in the trash, just the ones I started keeping. We have flow towers. We have ah, temp, more flow towers. We have temp towers. We have retractions in here. We have retractions. We have cubes. We have all sorts of stuff. We have different tests with different combing on the Neo. We have, uh, I don't even know what that is. Oh, not on the outer surface. We have combing, not on the outer, on the infill. We have none. I've done everything to try and dial this in without success. So I'm throwing it in. I've even tried to turn on my light here on my Ender 3, which was my workhorse. It was slow. But it gave me good prints. I updated to a direct drive. That's the only thing I did different. And my prints went to poo over here. This has silicone spacers. It has the um, insulation bed. It has the dual Z-axis. A glass bed. Uh, I shouldn't say it. My only other difference was an MK hot end because my other one clocked and I couldn't get it undone. So it has, these are the two changes since it started printing like poo. This one never printed well, right from the person I got it from. I disassembled it. I used my square, my metal square in the background, make sure everything was perpendicular. Yeah, perpendicular. Yeah, perpendicular. I made sure it was level. It's level on the on the bench. I made sure this was level. I made sure this was level across. I guess my only thing is maybe maybe these are too tight. I don't know. I mean, it pushes with no no problem. Um, I gotta maybe look into is that too tight? Is that too loose? But there's no play here. There's no play here. Maybe these are too tight. I don't know. I mean, these don't turn easily. Um, and on here, so it's stock. I did put a direct drive. I have a dual Z axis, sonic pad, silicone spacers, the bed insulation, and the PEI. Uh, whatever that is. Sticking has never been a problem for me. So anyway, so what's next? Well, I think what's next is, you may have already seen it. I got a, a dryer, a filament dryer. We're going to give it a go. We're going to see what happens. Maybe, maybe that's my problem. I, I don't know. But I think the, the plan here is to dry it and test it. So, see see what happens. All right. So I'm gonna get this set up. So hang tight. All right, I guess I should mention the only thing I, I haven't looked into is that's supposed to be that loose. I don't know. I think that's just a guide. To be honest, there's a an adjustment screw somewhere. I mean, could that be my problem? I, I don't know. Um. Anyway. So this is what we're going to do. We are going to zoom out and we're going to, we're going to weigh these. So these were brand new when I got them. So we are 881 grams. All right. Let me write that. I'm going to write that right on the spool. 881 grams. All right. That's spool number one. Spool number two, 
is at 641, 641 grams. All right, so I've got these weighed. Uh, now I bring them over here. Never used this before. Creality did not send this to me. Creality hasn't sent me anything, despite the number of Creality uh, oh boy, uh, printers, <laughs> too. I know there's people with a way a lot more, and parts, like all the upgrades. Um, but anyway, yeah, if they want to, go right ahead. Oh, no. This is hard to do with one hand, not going to lie. All right, so let's get this plugged in. Plug this bad boy in. We are plugged in. And I guess I've got it backwards. Hold on. Is there nothing more satisfying than pulling off the protective? I know for some people, I like to leave it on. No, no, no. That comes right off. Anywho, uh, let's get this thing turned on. Pulling up the chair. Let's. Ooh, I don't like that. That's weird. weird. Oh boy, weird artifacting when I press that. Anyway, the material is PLA. Let's go. Nope, nope. Let's not hit that. Time. Let's see, 12 hours. I hear it ramping up already. 12 hours is now like 4.30 in the morning. 12 hours from now. We'll see what happens. PV. SV. Maybe that's the current, and that's where I want it to go. I do want it to get to 50. It says the relative humidity is 57 degrees. Um, I do keep a dehumidifier. That little guy back there running all the time. Um, so, I don't know. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. I think I'm going to close these little nibs because they look like they have caps. For a reason. I guess when you're not using the direct out to the printer from here, which I think I'm going to try because I do want a table where both printers are running. Um, yeah, it's eating up pretty quick. Uh, looking around, I see just a couple of vent holes right there and there. Cool. Hey, check back with me in 12 hours. Like, subscribe, hope you watch the whole thing.